Hello, how are you guys doing? We haven't done Homestuck in a minute. We might do other things after this, but I figured we should do Homestuck. You remember how last week I was like, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stream Homestuck like every single day. Just like an hour or so. That shouldn't be too much for me. Says the dumbest man in the world. Um, turns out uh, I blew out my voice almost immediately afterwards. And uh, just generally was uh, not with it. <laughs> so um, that didn't happen. But hey, we're here now. It's happening now. Uh, we're doing Homestuck now. We'll do Homestuck for a bit. We'll go and get the music to go away for a sec. I want to tell you guys about some things real quick that are happening, that are important, that you guys should care about because I'm forcing you to care about them because I have the mic. That's how it works. Um, I have the mic. I have the, uh, the ability to force you to look at things like this awful thing. It's called ColinMullen.com. C-O-L-I-N-M-U-L-L-I-N.com. It's my art website. I'm only showing part of it for some reason, uh, mainly just because I don't know how to do internet right, you know? Uh, but anyway, you can find it uh, by ColinMullen.com. I uploaded new stuff to the gallery, namely stuff that I've done in the recent arcades. And by recent, I mean over the last couple of months. Um, this guy was uh, last times, and we got uh, the time before that, and a few times before that. Some of these are like old, and I just never got pictures of them up on the website. Um, some of them have been on the website and have sold, uh, and so that's cool, but yeah, go, go, go check out the art, colinmullen.com. Some of these exist as originals if you want them. Some of them you can only get prints of at this point. Um, th this was like an awkward, ah, oh, that one was a good one. That one was a good one. That one went to a gallery. Almost one. Um, thank you for the gay bits there, gay keyboard. Uh, gay homestuck bits. Also, uh, speaking of March of the Mice, I will at some point be able to uh, link a collection that's available on my Redbubble, which is how I get my prints done, that has um, screens from the March of the Mice available as prints or whatever you guys want them to be to a certain extent. That won't let me put them on certain things. The red bubble seems to be glitching out with those specifically, so I won't be able to show you those right now. But eventually, eventually you'll be able to buy some of the scenes from uh, the uh, the, uh, the the March of the Mice as arts. Uh, I'd like to get them made into a book at some point, but oh hell hell yeah, Top Houndor. Why do you have a different number of L's in your first and last name? Because that's how my parents decided to do things. Um, I didn't pick it out. Um, the March on the Mice book is going to be very much dependent on uh, people's interests. Um, the Town of Nowhere did not have enough interest in order to really do anything beyond shirts. But the popularity of it is going to determine what all we're doing with it. We'll probably do Homestuck for like an hour or two and then switch over to something else, uh, depending. But, uh, yeah. I want to at least make some progress. So, anyway, that was a four-minute diatribe that had nothing to do with Homestuck, which is in itself very Homestuck. Did I tweet? No. Hold up. I was like, where is everybody? I didn't tweet. Homestuck. And then a GIF. Homestuck. See what gifts are available through Homestuck. Skull group ch chat scat party. God, I have no idea what that is. Is skull group a thing I should know about? Is that a Homestuck thing or is that just some weird... What is skull group? Because they have scat parties, apparently. Chat scat. Maybe we don't use that one because I don't know what it is. How about this uh, this one where it's like a bunch of the trolls and then also Dave and they're doing a dance. And they have like weird outfits on. This is definitely from a music video. There you go. That's an awful tweet. 
Uh, I sent you a message about my town of nowhere shirt order recently. Did I look at the situation yet? So they still haven't sent it to you? Uh, I'll, I'll hit him up. I'm so sorry. Um... Shitting discourse. We chatting about scat. Beat it up, beat up, beat up, pop. Some people like the shit. And fuck. <laughs> Not sure which scat we're talking about, so I did both. Um. F for international shipping. I'm sorry. So anyway, she purified the thing. She got a pep top from, uh, John, and she, like, a purified the, she un, what was it? She stole the nothing that wasn't the egg there, and so therefore the egg was there. Sc scooterly day. Treat me like you bidet. Skeet up, bebap. Yo, Rev, it's been a hot minute since I tuned in. What's new? Um, you know. It was only halfway egg. Oh, did I miss see that? What's wrong with it? It's a mishmash between the egg and the perfectly generic object. It's half cube? How can you tell it's half a cube? Oh, I guess it is? That is that is not clear. It's been a minute since I've seen what the egg looks like. We're finally at A6, A6. Yes. The green corner. Yes. It took you guys explaining it, but yes. Oh, the PPM right now. Shooting through the roof. John Egbert's ring has gone missing. What the fuck? We are completely blown away by this stunning revelation. Wow. Missing, really? As in not there? Huh. It's not that interesting. We are now returning to your favorite series, web series, Homo Suck. Act something, act something, something. Already in progress. Be a different male. So last time that thing happened, the male story hero blew up, blew up. So fortunately, we won't ever see him again. That means we need a new Mariel to lead the story. So here he is with his dumb black glasses and everything. He, here onward, I will refer to this male as the alpha male. The alpha male is less bad than the original male. And he is not as annoying. He has no tendency to randomly appear and bother people. He likes cool swords and irony, I guess. And like myself, he has a cultivated sense for fine art. Hence, he will be my male of choice in this adventure. I will have to admit that there is one reason above others why I have decided in favor of the alpha male. He has an exceptional taste in puppets. Yes. Alpha male call for backup. Close up. Nope. Normally, here's what would happen. You would have to talk into his glasses or something like... So, wait, isn't that Dave? Dave didn't have the glasses. Is he confusing Dave and Dirk? Is that what's happening? John is more of a scrumblo male. What? What? It's never advisable to open a pester log, you see. The button is a trap, which, when sprung, releases words upon words, which only serve to remind you of the intense dislike for the people saying the things, as well as how little regard the author has for your valuable time. As such, there will be no words described in my tale, only action. Just take that lampshade and put that on real quick. Thank you for putting that there for us, hussy. We understand. The alpha male whistles for his bitches. He will need a loyal entourage of top flight females to assist him in his important boy journey. This is written for you. This is video This isn't video games or Warhammer. What the fuck am I doing? No. Um no, I, I promised to read Homestuck for uh one page for like every twenty five dollars like two years ago, and then Hey guys, how about this year? For every dollar raised, I'll read one page of Subspace Inbissary. Or that one, was it Loud House? 
Because this isn't even the longest thing ever anymore. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to read shit anymore. <laughs> Fuck that. There's like a Quahog's chapter of uh, the Loud House thing, apparently. So that's unfortunate. How about for every $210,000 we raise, I will read one page of Subspace in Bizarre. <laughs> You get one page for every time. The Loud House thing was mostly plagiarized. What? How do you even do that? How do you plagiarize? It's, it's fucking fanfic. Where would you plagiarize that? I thought the longest piece of fanfic was the, the Loud House thing, followed by Subspace. And then My Little Pony. Fallout. Who the fuck plagiarizes shit for their Loud House thing? The Alpha Male whistles for his bitches. He will need a loyal entourage of his top feet. Flight. Okay, I already read that. Actually, it's invite a couple more to the party. These two delectable floozies were not supposed to show up until a lot later. But let's be honest, it doesn't matter. Alpha game, begin. You and your comely harem of hoochie mamas cut to the fucking chase. You sidle up to the sourcemen of game junk, which is relevant to making this happen. John, how the fuck are you here? This isn't even real. Can we get you to read My Immortal? Do you read fan fiction? No. Um. I try not to. Uh. I might have accidentally listened to some Warhammer fan fiction, but mostly no. My Immortal? How long is My Immortal? That was a good song, too. My. Immortal fan fiction. Oh, wow. It's, um... Do they make a real book of it? What the fuck? MyImmortalRehost.webs.com Okay. Well then. 200 and... No! No, Colin! Stop trying to promise to read things! You're dyslexic! You're a stupid bitch! You can barely read the words and you can barely pay attention to the shit that's going on! Calm your tits! Jesus fucking Christ! Colin, get your shit together! Just read the thing you promised to read and nothing else. Don't promise to read anything ever again. Oh, dear God. Disregard the unimportant male ghost behind the curtain. This is really dumb. He will not be part of the story. Let's continue. Why is everything so shitty? The alpha male does the requisite things with the stuff his adventure is nigh. Go outside. What about promising to watch more stuff? What? Real John is in fake story. Sure. That's fine. What, um... What the fuck are you... What even? What What would you want me to watch? If I were to watch other things. I still have to watch Air Button. I haven't gotten around to that. The alpha male and his trusty bitch parade proceed to the roof to witness the incredible land of fantasy he has entered. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm not going to stand by and let you mangle our story like this. All these stairs are so terrible. How are we even these stairs? You successfully be on the roof and prepare to human kiss your sorry planet goodbye. There's not a dry eye in the party except for the males as well as the puppets. Suddenly there is a dramatic change. 
B stars is great. I would pay to see you watch JoJo with Mike. I already watched JoJo. I did um the it, it's like Rift Tracks where you can uh if you get the episodes uh from what you call it, you can uh like again do season six. Is that the one that's coming out? Wait, fuck. Oh, God, this door is dog shit. I don't recall what his land was, though. I love this book. Something with lava? I think I don't really care. We'll just make up around. It'll be great uh, opportunity to flex my powerful world-building muscles for you to be dazzled by. You see, when crafting a strong and compelling narrative, I think it's important for the accomplished artist to give himself the latitude to do whatever he wants and fuck around as much as cherubically possible. And the size of that latitude should be lar literally as big as the whole fucking story. As such, using the knowledge accrued by my tomes of art artisan knowledge, I will change my art style to demonstrate my versatility and make you be impressed. However, the mangas are clearly too advanced for now. After I level up my fine art, uh, after I level up in fine art, but baby, not now. For the time being, I'll get more practice. All of my world's assets will be respectfully plagiarized from the di mis the disingenuous Mr. Emberly. Wait. Oh. Why is Rev doing this? <laughs> Who are his fans? Homestuck people now. It turns out if you read Homestuck long enough, the only people who will bother watching it will be Homestucks. Um, and, and other assorted goblins. If brain simulation technology was ever invented, would you think it'd be fucked for online content creators to be scanned and simulated a thousand times to produce anime reaction content? Yeah. Yeah, no, actually I'd like control over myself. Yeah, if you if you want to hear about Homestuck, unfortunately I'm reading Homestuck and will not be talking about Homestuck for about half the stream. So if you don't like Homestuck and you just want to hear me rant about shit, you'll you'll be excited to hear that you will not hear much about it. Land of someone's handcrafts I took. Alpha male, whistle for all the stallions. Oh, I love this drawing. God, this book fucking slapped. Did you make your own troll sona yet? No, but I did make Karl Marx. That works as a troll. I don't even know what number that is, but yeah, something around that I, I'd make my own troll sona. How, how in depth is a troll sona? Like, do I actually have to, like, fucking class... D does it have to be the same class aspect as me? Like, does it have to be an Aquarius is the same? It doesn't have to be in-depth at all. What about... So, Karl Marx, then? Yeah, hold up. No. Ima hasn't seen Troll Karl Marx, so let me pull Troll Karl Marx up. Um, I'm in an Aquarius sauna, and I am a... Okay. Well, there you go. And then, what? what is this screen region? Dog shit. Great. Alright, check it. Check it out. Check it out. All right, and that's L, by the way. Uh, he's sitting all cool-like. Where is it? Where the fuck did I put it? Where's Troll Karl Marx? There he is. There he is. So he's got the Dave mouth, and then he's got Hammer and Sickle for horns. And so it's got to be six letters for the first name and the last name, right? 
so car l mar That doesn't really work. Oh, it could be triple X. Because he's hardcore and pornographic. There you go. Capital X's, though. Karl Marx. Sex god Karl Marx. Not to be confused with the 13-inch dick of Rasputin. I'm still not over that. That guy was hung like a fucking horse. Why? What is this pester handle? Um. So it's got to be like two, like, carcinogenesis, uh, what is it? Ectobiologist. So it doesn't really have to, it's like something or other... Title? He smelled like a horse. Dude, if you were getting laid all the time, you would smell like a horse. And you would be getting laid all the time. If you whipped out your dick, everyone in the area is going to be like, Whoa, I need a piece of that. It's not even considered cheating at that point because that guy was fucking hung. That is an opportunity waiting to fuck you. Communist Manifest... Oh, my God. Uh, Communist Manifesto is... Yes. That's his uh, troll. That's his pester ID. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. And then, uh, what's the other thing he needs to have? When was Karl Marx born? May 5th. May 5th, uh, astrology sign. Taurus. He's a Taurus. There you go. So he's a rust blood, I guess. Um, now, what's his typing quirk? Honestly, that works. Fuck, how do you spell Taurus? There we go. Okay. The extra X's? Um, oh, he puts the little, like, things in between all of his words? He uses our and no other pronoun? Sure. Uh, I haven't. He just speaks German. <laughs> what? Uh, our as pronoun. Oh, 
Oh, replace O's and um all Should it be O's or C's? Or maybe the X's or the K's. And uh X are replaced with there you go. Just all letters are replaced with the. <laughs> there you go. No need to class spec. Oh fuck! What is Karl Marx's class spec? Hold on, hold on. We can't see what it says. Okay, I'm sorry. So I got like Steam friends popping up. Get out of here. I don't want to have friends. Rogue of Blood? Something of Blood. Uh. No class! Oh. <laughs> uh. He wants to get rid of the class structure. But in the game session, he would be something like Page of Blood, Seer of Blood. Sure, something or other of blood would be fine. None of blood. Seer of blood? Yeah, actually, that would... God damn it! I know about Homestuck now! I understood that! Ah! Seer of blood. Yeah, now we're gonna make him a Seer of blood. Uh, parentheses, but wants to get rid of the class structure. Cancri is Seer of Blood. Cancri is a piece of shit. I don't like knowing things. I was talking to my brother a minute ago on the phone. I was like, yeah, I got to read Homestuck tonight. I haven't done it in a bit. He's like, what? And I'm like, hey, you remember that one uh, game that you watched me play where the 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 person went ape shit and like shot a cop and then stole the car and then drove that into a lake? He's like, oh, yeah, that was crazy. And I'm like, it's the same author. He's like, oh, okay. It's like one of my brother's favorite streams. No, Hussey didn't drive, shot, shoot a guy. It was, um, was it Psycho something or other? Psycho Social? What was the name of that fucking game? Psychonauts? Psycho Colonials, that game. Yeah, he watched the beginning of that. Should I watch that stream? If you want to have, like, psychic damage. It's, um... It's heavy as all get out. Spoilers on the end of that, I guess? Or just the end of the first episode? I, uh... I stopped reading it. Um... I don't think it's my, my jam. It's a little too heavy. Um... And, uh, you know, it's just last year and this year and every year. Invite my brother to read that with me. I don't know about that one, chief. 
It does end on a good note. I'm I'm good glad to hear that. You beckon a flock of noble mounts. Your party will need them to gallop across the beautiful realm of wonders. Also, uh any information you can send me, hit me up um uh about stuff orthogonal about your uh shirt problems and i'll uh i'll try and get in touch with them i don't really have a better in than you do but i'll give them a go the alpha male's reign of adventure begins here on the roof overlooking an enchanted cliffscape host to numerous innumerable gorgeous stallions how ironic that it is that his very departure would be in proximity of some horses what you didn't follow that just think it over just think it over Is it because they're leaving by horses? Mount Steeds. Each member of your party sit on a majestic beast of burden and prepare to ride like the wind. It goes without saying that the incomplete horses must be reserved for the women. Ride. Look at... There, they're off. Look at them go. Wait. You guys are all just such fucking morons. Uh, well, I guess it's time to settle up. Why the hell not? What does that even look like? This is literally the suckiest horse I've ever seen in my life. Whatever. Giddy up. Yeah. Fly, shit biscuit. Fly. No, you dumbass. Not this way. Go down. Down, I say. Whoa, whoa, watch out for that helicopter and that rocket ship and that row of Vikings. God, that was such a fucking good book. Just taught you how to draw shit. As a kid. It was great. How far into Homestuck is this? 6,500 something pages out of 8,000 something. So pretty far, but still pretty far from the end. We're in too deep. Yeehaw, almost there. Wait, what are you doing? Where are you? Uh, oh, God, we're going to crash. Bogus Roxy, watch out, we're going to crash. Ah, very slowly, it would seem. Horse accident. Sorry, Bogus Roxy. I will try and make this up to you. The real you, I mean. Oh, hell no, this bozo is still at it. Is there a printed version of all this? Uh, apparently? 1,500 pages left. I've almost got this. Surely it's more than that. The alpha male is accosted by a pack of wild foes. Rock is melee imminent. The male reaches for his blade, but he discovers he does not have one. In his haste to begin his journey, he forgot to take it. Alpha male, receive boon from your creator. I give you the mysterious chest. What will be inside? Turn the tides... Will what's inside turn the tides of battle? Let's find out. Open chest. You open the chest and find a collection of illicit smut. Jackpot, you say, by which I mean... I say, by which I mean you say. With your trusty smut, forge a sword. Jesus, fuck. I honestly have no idea how you would print a copy of Homestuck. The callback to the elf pornography sword. Your filthy human pornography has pornography has forced in, or been forged into a formidable blade. Your foes tremble in their boots. Strike the witch. Yeah, like a lot of this is animation and music. Like, literally, how the fuck do you make a book out of Cascade and it have the same effect? I've seen a copy of it at Barnes & Noble. Dude, I will fucking get a copy of that shit. Is that a thing we can do? Can we get... Homestuck book. Oh my god. Oh, God. Acts 1 through uh, book 6. Okay, so book 6 is the most recent one. Acts 5, Act 2. 
<sighs> fuck. Is there like a collection of all of the books? Just some impenetrable th tome of violence? There are six books, seven if you count the epilogue. I see. I don't think I can even buy it anymore. Okay, well, here's Act 5, Act 1. Uh, I can get a hardcover copy for $21. Reading age, 13 to 17. According to Amazon. Amazon says that I shouldn't be reading this. I fucking agree. I'm not in that age range at all. Cut off at 17. Once you hit 17, you have to stop reading. You're going to listen to Amazon? Generally, no. But in this case, yes. Base the Amazon for once. Your noble mount absorbs most of the damage, though. The horse has been slain. The wolf thing consumes its carcass. After its meal, he leaves full and satisfied, never to return. The witch also dies from her injuries. She drops, let's say, additional pornos. You put them in your stash. What the fuck is this one? Have we seen that one? Boom? Is that tits? Why are you drawing tits, my dude? She drops... Okay, as a result of that, the robot grows crazy. Your foes have been defeated. You win the fracas. As the best boy hero who accomplished a success, you are now entitled to the spoils. Receive the spoils. The male sh sheathes his sword onto the ground, looking for looking cool and casual, like he, the dangerous hero thing he did was no big deal. But one of his really faithful bimbos nearby thought it was a real big deal. She's swooning his way right now. She will reward the male with, for his manly deeds with a human kiss. Here's where the story gets a little sloppy. <laughs> story rectangle, zoom in on raunchy seduction. No, stop. They're brother and sister, you gross freak. No, I don't care how bogus this are. You won't make you make... I won't let you make Dave and Rose kiss. That's enough. I can't take it anymore of your stupid story. So ugly and stupid. It's making me mad. Another damn thing. Why don't you learn some respect for girls better? You're just letting them follow around Dave like a bunch of idiots. The only thing you're letting them do is kiss the boy whenever he does something brave. That's so lame. All these girls have their own cool adventures. Don't you realize what you're doing here is makes you a weird creep? It seems that the alpha male has been slain. This obviously will not do. Some additional backup males are deployed due to, let's say, time travel. The male is being very reckless with his loops. What a mess. The dude pile doesn't stop from getting taller. It causes everyone to completely forget all about the increasingly agitated blue male altogether. And that's the end of Homo Suck. Act, um... Chapter 2. Thank you for subscribing to my story. Good, but I'll fucking kill you! Be sure to click the following pages as fast as you can to get right back here to the good stuff. Bye. Well, I mean, the comic even said to skip through this bullshit, right? Oh, you're copy-pasting? Okay, yeah. Betty Crocker copy-paste abilities. I'm sure you have to say the proprietary brand, like Adobe Photoshop. That looks like an Adobe Photoshop job. That's what Adobe wants us to do. What I want Adobe do to do is suck my entire dick. What I want Adobe to do is to uh, suckle on my balls a little. Maybe lick the tip some.
Rev, that's gay. No. No. Gay would be if me and a dude were doing shit. Because I'm a dude. Right? It's not gay if I fuck a corporation. I'm pretty sure. And don't get and don't get me at that. Corporations are people under American law. So it's probably fine. I think. I'm not entirely sure on that one. That's that, that, that that's actually up in the uh Corporation, my least favorite gender. There's only three genders, male, female, and corporation. Sorry, liberals. That's a joke. That's a joke before you get mad. Rise, my bard. Rise, my bard. Sheesh. Arania, if you really want to start taking people seriously, chill your repertoire is going... Your chill repertoire is going to need some work. It's not gay if I fuck a corporation. Yeah, exactly. Say trans rights to even it out. You're right. Trans rights. Now, loyal minstrel, wake, wake, I say. God, I am making such good progress today. Oof, honk. Just great. What does she want this time? Is it gay if you fuck a clone of yourself? No, we've got... God damn it. How many times do I have to have this discussion? No. It's like masturbation. And I'd fuck myself. I've seen myself in the mirror. I know what I'm fucking packing. I fuck myself. Did I notice what was happening with Arania? No, I was talking about fucking myself. What? Um. Wait, what are Riska's horns like? Riska. Wait, what's going on? Like, exactly like this? That's Arrhenius. She's controlling Gamzina and is now alive. Yeah, her being... I, I'm sorry. There's so many characters. I forget who's dead and who's not. Um, especially because I've been reading this thing for like two years now, almost. This is Frisco that talks a lot. Yeah. Shello. Hey, twerkette. The fuck you think you're doing? I have no idea what you're talking about. Bullship! You went after the blue nerd's ring, and you're wearing it now. Couldn't say, Mina. I do like jewelry from time to time, just like you, and it is certainly possible there is a new shiny ring on my finger. So what if there is? Arania, so kelp me God, I need you to take that shit off right now, throw it in a volcano or something, just come home. First off, I would appreciate it if you refer to me as Mind Fang. She's wearing the ring. So it's a one shot we get to bring someone back from death. And we brought um, Discount Vriska back from the dead? Like, instead of someone who could fucking solve the problem, we brought her back? Fuck that. <sighs> okay. She engineered it, engineered it for herself. I don't think any of us wanted this, but that's what's happened. Okay. 
First off, I would appreciate it if you refer to me as Mind Fang. Remember how I've been trying to make that a, be a thing lately? Second, I have no intention of discarding this ring now or ever. Wheels are already in motion, Mina. Irons are heating up as we speak. Wheels, irons, Arania? What? Mind Fang, what are you planning? Are you going to meddle? Are you going to meddle with... I just know. I just know it. You are going to meddle. I just know. I was taking some initiative for a change. Has it occurred to you that you might become a little tiresome for me to spend eternity as a boring nobody while there are so many others to play important roles in determining the fate of reality? Heck, you were barely dead for two minutes before you started assembling an army. Even my alternate universe self got a lead on an amazing life, which is all well and good for her. Well, what about me, Mina? Uh Water boat me. I feel you on that. Trust me, girl. But do you realize your glubbin mess here? I mean, I know that shit... This shit ain't, like, part of the legit chain of events. You aren't supposed to be there. Of course I know that. Like I said, I have a plan. What plan? I'm gonna take over this session. And then I'm gonna make sure that it never bears fruit. And it can stop this universe from being created, and the Lord of Time will never be hatched in the first place, and it won't be merely defeating an invincible foe. I'll be erasing all the pain he's ever created. Sirk, you've... Okay. Wouldn't that doom all timelines? Like, all the timelines that we... Wouldn't that literally make everything I've read completely fucking pointless? Also, wouldn't the fact that there are more timelines... That are doomed, that we know are doomed, that we've read about that are doomed. That, wouldn't that mean that he could still pop through? Because, like, other Daves were still popping into this universe from, like, doomed universes. So, it wouldn't achieve anything, because Lord English, if he had, what is his thing? He has time, right? Read literally the next few sentences. Oh, okay. You've lost it. I know what you're doing is making another Doom timeline where everyone dies, right? Lord of Time. I see. So the guy who has power over time could potentially make a timeline where this doesn't happen, so it's fine. And it could still all happen. So this achieves fucking nothing. The problem is that he's a lord of time. That's part of his invincibility. Of course I know that. Mina, please don't insult me. I've given this a lot of thought. Also, it's like the butterfly effect. Instead of it being a butterfly one place on earth, flopping its wings, and that causes a, a bush to rustle, and that causes one person to realize that their wife is cheating on them, or whatever the fuck, and it causes all these chain events. It's like the guy who's fucking with everyone. Please, Mina, don't insult me. I've given this a lot of thought. No, you haven't. If anyone else attempted it, that what you would just said would be true. But I'm not just anyone. I'm a very power sif of light. I have millions of sweeps to hone my abilities. As gifted with the aspect of light, certain outcomes are prone to breaking in my favor. And as an ancient, highly experienced sylph, I wield an unprecedented ability to heal. A doomed timeline is just an anatomical feature with a much larger organism. Like a capillary that has come to an end because it has to, it has withered and died. I believe I will be able to heal this offshoot. No. And with enough time and patience, I'm confident I'll be able to restore its vitality to such a great extent it will effectively take over as the alpha timeline, thus reducing English to a footnote in paradox space. Arenia, I fucking hate you. You're stupid. Dumb. You're ugly. Give me $2,000. Whatever the line is. Then there's the new alpha timeline will flourish under my immortal care. I'll watch over it for eternity, assuring peace and harmony everywhere. 
There will be a progeny of new universes, and those universes will beget more universes, and each will benefit my good graces. I'll personally make sure that nothing like this English mishap ever occurs again. I mean, this is mostly theoretical, of course, but the most important thing here is that I'm involved now. It is vital to all of our interests that I at least try. You are ugly. You are disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Give me a million dollars. <laughs> it is vital to all of our interests that I at least try. All right. So you just totally flipped your think panel is all. Got it. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Are we done here? No. Your timeline healing fantasy aside, your plan is just waltz in there and knock over a whole session. You do realize that it means you'll have to take down uh, my grown-up self. Like, not dr to blow my own conch, but she's arguably the greatest, deadly, most styling badass who ever lived. I'm aware, but there's no one better positioned to deal with her than myself. After all, who knows you better than I? Okay, yeah, but you ain't exactly shopping for her mind thing. She got all these sick powers, yo. Like I said, I've had quite a long time to refine my abilities. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Man, this is gonna end. This is gonna go so terribly. Mina, I must say your attitude is a little surprising. I thought you were typically gung ho about such audacious escapades. Well, yeah, there's this audacious, and then there's bold face, flippant, insanity. That one is a little forced. Besides, did you ever stop and think about me? What about you? You being alive again, y'all running around, stirring up trouble. I'm still a ghost. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Mina. Will I ever see you again? I don't know. You're trying to do the right thing. There's always sacrifice involved. Remember? That's why we all died in the first place. I guess. Besides, I'm sure if Risco would approve of my plan, maybe she can explain my reasoning better than I have. Um, no. Actually, Secret Deuce isn't down with this at all. What? She isn't? Nope. She thinks you're being dumb as fuck. What did she say exactly? What were her words? Her, were her exact words? Don't know. This ain't secret twin message relay service. Is she there with you? Can you put her on? No. Can I just talk to her already? No. I just want to say a couple things. Call her yourself. I don't have a phone. Here, let me talk to her. No. Bitch, don't cl touch my clam. Very well. You both made yourselves abundantly clear. I will go it along... But that is what I'm signing for for in the first place, I suppose. Goodbye, Mina. Take care. Vriska is making this about her. So it's not like Vriska is being good. It's Vriska is trying to make this about her. Vriska is still a piece of shit. Arenia is being more of a piece of shit right now. But, yeah, it's ego versus ego. I was going to correct you, but I'm right. Yeah, she wants that attention. Everything Vriska does is for attention. They're both fucking terrible. Awful, unlikable characters. Hateable. I want to kill you. You're ugly. <laughs> Give me $200. Fuck you. All right. Now, now then, what about you? Shall I continue to manipulate you or will you comply with my orders if I decide to loosen my grip? Perhaps the threat of being controlled again will be enough to keep your capricious tendencies in check. Why even ask? I guess it's a risk. You seem so serene and complacent. All right. I will be gracious. I will allow you some free will privileges. Use them wild, wisely, my trustly... Trustly jungler. What? <sighs> Motherfuck, who's the fresh pamphrydia of my wicked peep on for suddenly? Is motherfucking Ninja Lissa's whole tiddly miracle jacked up in this bitch, motherfuck? No. Wow, no. You'll not be speaking ever again, no. Never, never, never again. Never. Wow. I thought Marco was awful. At least she had the decency to show his mouth or sew his mouth shut. Anyway, I've wasted enough time dithering around with fools. There's much work to be done. 
How exactly the fuck do you think this will work? Why do you have to be dumb? Why do you have to be aggressively dumb and make it happen to everyone? Gams, you're included in this at the same time, but for different reasons. Your sins are much older. Everyone shut up. <laughs> are you guys playing Marco Polo in chat? How is that working? She thinks she can heal a... Yeah. High intelligence, low wisdom. I guess. Nubs McShoddy, come in mug... Uh, Shoddy, do you read me? What? Who's there? Shoddy, is that you? Yeah, I mean, no. This is Carcat. Is this... Is this Mina? Yeah. Oh, hey. Long time, uh, no, uh... I didn't think I'd hear from you again. Not that I'm telling you to piss off or anything. I'm just surprised. How you been? I mean, never mind. That's a fucking stupid question. You're a ghost. You're still a ghost, right? Uh, hey, look. I know we had those tentative plans where I was gonna join your army. I guess nothing really came of that, because, I don't know, I guess... Some shit came up. Uh, you know how things go. Anyway, I'm sorry I never saw you after that or called you or... You know what? I don't even know it was a fucking option to call you. Maybe someone could have told me that there was actually a fucking possibility. I know, what a crazy thought. Useful, practical information being imparted to me in some manner for once in my fucking... Shouty, shut the fuck up. Carcat Mina ship. She's, yeah. Yeah. No, I caught the, that she's, uh, psychically manipulating a lot of people. I don't know why Gamzy as well. Gamzy seems less useful. We got a whale of a problem here. Crocker to Harley. Come in, Harley. You read me? Yes. I suggest you come to Durst right away. We potentially have a problem here that is rather significant in size. Snoring. Oh, uh, nature. Learned so much about myself, but a primitive courtry. Snor. Is this um? Is this an Avatar reference? I don't have safe search on. That was a mistake. What's that an injury? Why, yes, of course I'm going to. Op I'm open to exploring alien intercourse with you, Jake. What do I do with my tail now? Oh my. Do what with my tail now? Jake, wake up. Hold your horses. I'm doing my best here. You know mobility isn't my strong suit. What with the wobbly pair of puppet legs God gave me? Slumber. Jake! What? Oh no. Oh, she's a blue lady, isn't she? Oh no. Greetings, Jake. We meet again. Arania? Wait, this means I'm still dreaming, doesn't it? On the contrary, you are awake now, and I am alive. Hold the phone. You're not a spooky ghost, uh, babe anymore? Ghost girl, ghost girl, dang it. No, Jake, I've returned from the dead for good. I've come for you. Surely you remember the first time we met, and what we talked about? Y yeah. Yeah, um, mostly. We once spoke about your destiny. The one whereby you deal with the Lord of Time is first defeat. Do you recall? No? I mean, maybe? It doesn't matter. The plan has changed. It has? Yes, Jake. You see, in every hero's hope... Uh, you're, in every hero of hope, there dwells a great hidden power, unrivaled by that of any aspect. And for a page, the journey to reach his full potential is longer than any other class. But once the journey is over, how fearsome he becomes. I'm here to shorten that journey for you. And in return for this favor, you will serve my needs. H oh. I ship it, but I hate it.
I do not ship it. Well, too bad. You don't have to. Why would you ship it? It's because it's already on the page. Okay? It's already on the page. There's nothing we can do about it. Rev, this sucks. Welcome to my stream. You can say that about any stream I do. There are many obstacles that are preventing you from accessing your true potential. You cannot see them, Jake, but I can. I see every fault and fissure in your mind. My vision eightfold sheds light on every injury you have ever suffered, whether emotional or physical. I can repair all of it for you, Jake. Oh no. I can heal your mind. Oh no 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 no. I can heal your soul. No 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 no! What's the matter? Please stop. Why is everyone wanting to kiss me all the time? What did I ever do to deserve this attention? I don't know what you all seen me, just I don't understand. Can't you just see you leave me alone? Cheese and stupid crackers, a, a man, not a piece of meat. <laughs> okay, well, right. I'm sorry. There, you see? I'm respecting your personal boundaries. We don't have to kiss. Good grief, that went poorly. I only tried to kiss you because I knew you were attracted to me. I was doing you a favor. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You really are a piece of work, Jake. Here I am, a little m literal mind reader, and I still can't figure you out. But you're right. My advances were inappropriate, and in the future I'll try and be respectful. You know what? Orandia? You did good. You pushed a boundary. And you were told no. And you were like, alright. I'm gonna back off. I apologize. Sometimes that's the way it is. Sometimes you get mixed messages. Orania? Ardania? Whatever. I'm still going to heal you, though. Okay, so, um... <laughs> Listen, I... She's of Vriska's line. I just... I just shit on her for, like, several minutes. I feel like it's, it's sort of a, a punishment reward system, okay? Like, if she does something good, I should respect that. If she does something bad, I should punish that that's how people become better you know you don't just punish you don't just reward say you have bad bad situations that being said turns out i was fucking right turns out she's a piece of shit regardless but she for a moment did the bare minimum It's nothing personal. There's simply no alternative. Your power is too important to my plan. Who took my ship? I don't know. When I arrived, it was already parked here. Mostly legally, I must add. That is so illegal. We should probably call some authority regulators and have it ticketed and towed. If you really want to re relocate this ve vehicle, you could just, you know, teleport it somewhere else? Yes, but I love those guys watching their little letter tickets. They're so cute. Indeed, but observing adorable creatures that issue citations will not address our problem. Do you think we should ask the Condens what to do? I would rather not involve her in this matter. We should be more sufficiently equipped to handle it. Yes, you're right. What do you think, uh, what would you, th what would she think if we went whimpering to her every time some buffoon parked a battleship illegally? She would think that we were a couple of silly children. Yeah. What? Maybe we should check in on our prisoners again. That would be the logical course of action. Whoa, what? You know what that reminds me of? Lemon stealing horse? We haven't looked at our lemon tree in a while. Yeah, you know what? You're right. And then they turn and they're like, hey, what the fuck? It's a good porno. I haven't ever actually seen like past that part, but you know, classic. 
classic shit. Love that intro. That one, and yeah, Arania is the lemming sailing horn. <laughs> yeah, this is the 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 beach bathtub one's really good too. Jake is the lemon. Yes, in the lemon stealing whores. He's even yellow. See, it works. It works on multiple levels. Um, what page does Homestuck end at? Page 8,000 something? Can someone look that up for me? I'll just... I had a moment where I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Playlists. Reading Homestuck 84 episodes. <laughs> Some of that's other stuff. Oh, fuck. Um, okay, so I have about a month to finish this before two years have happened. Um, 8,130. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So then it's just a little, it's just a little math. I got this. And then I click on the next page. Make a nice even number. 8,130 minus 6,590. Uh, 1,540 divided by uh, 4 is 358. So I'm going to have to read it more than once a, a week, aren't I? Uh, times 4 divided by 2. What's my, what's my PPM again? Like, what's my average PPM? Does anyone have that stat? Gra the graph graphics. What are these things? Do I need to finish it before the two year mark? No. Would it help my soul? Maybe. Angels? Have I seen these things before? I have no context of what this is. Seriously, those are angels. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay invisible for a while. Oh, right. He's the something or other of light, so he's flipping the fuck out. They're part of hope. Or hope. He's a something or other hope. Tally ho! Oh my god, what? The power. This is so anime. It's it's over. Over what? An exceedingly certain amount of quantity. Jake, cease powering up at once. You're destroying my empire property. I don't think he can hear you right now. The hope field is nigh impenetrable. Who are you? Who, me? Oh. Just some nobody. Harley, you will deal with Jake. I also do the smug troll. Okay. Sulex mentioned angels one time, roughly 4,000 pages ago. He called them used to usher in the end times. Okay. Thank you for reminding me of something that happened 4,000 pages ago. Like, I'm supposed... <laughs> How the fuck do people remember this? <laughs> Stern fatherly confusion. Wait, you're here?
sorry, Jake. You heard the lady. You're making a royal mess of the place. You're going to have to zap you to the furthest ring. What I'm saying is you've been very naughty, rambunctious, and so now you have to go outside. Gadzooks! What? What the? Why can't... Why can't I zap you away? Boy, howdy! Shut up! Your booming cornball explanations are hurting my doggy ears. Come on, Jade. Focus. Focus, damn you. Hmm. So hard to concentrate when I stare at his stupid little shorts. I didn't ask for this, Jake. I never wanted to see my grandpa in his sexy pair of underpants. Holy Toledo! Yeah, it's cock. What's the holdup? My powers. I can't seem to penetrate the hope field. Land sakes alive! He keeps doing that. So I've overheard. Jake, your righteous assertions have been quite impressive, but it's really incredibly annoying. Hello, nurse! Oh, for Pete's sake. Please read the Jake parts with reverb filter. I don't know as if I can easily turn on a re... Hold up. Let me see if I've got... Do I have the technology? Uh, expander, noise gate, limiter, gain, expander. I don't think I do. I'll just have to read it in a funny voice. It's too late. Well, I thought you said you were going to subdue me. I'm waiting, Miss Crocker. What game are you playing, troll? Say your designs on my future husband. Don't worry. I'm only borrowing him temporarily as an equalizing force. And his... And once he is finished equalizing, I will tear your empire apart. You won't do no, no such thing. Then it would seem that your next move is yours. The next move is yours. I trust your weapon is not for show. Or did her condescence see fit to equip her heiress with a training fork? My calculations say it is highly probable that you're enticing me into a trap. It's no trap, I assure you. I simply can't be killed. You see, for as long as a certain charm remains in my possession, I am immortal. Why would you say that? Make her slowly realize you're fucking immortal. You know how the annoying that would be? Rather than what you're doing? Fart. Wait, why didn't it? I have to switch to a different region. Okay. There we go. Felt like it needed to be a fart there. It's because it's the same fart from before, so it doesn't... Did I show you guys that I can actually, like, um, change the pitch of it? I can, like, make it slow down? Did I do this last Homestuck stream? See? Isn't that good? And then I can make it real fast, so it's just a little tiny, like, boop. You did multiple times. Well, good. Fart sounds, my dude. Great work. Thanks. And more, more immortal than usual? Yes. That's stupid. By gum! Good gravy. Can you get him to shut up? Sadly, no. All right, Jake, you win. I can't zap you out of here, so I have no choice but to let you stay. But I can't allow you to keep trashing my old lady's property. So I'll just swap the planets instead. That's a solid plan. Don't you remember when we used to be pen pals, Jake? How many times did I help you solve tricky problems? I'm very, very clever. Whereas you, let's face it, you're not. Archie Hawala! It's really sad that fart fetishes are a thing. Pants car cat two. Dave, come on, come in, Dave. Are you? Do you fucking read me? Go. We have a problem here. What? I said we have a problem here. I, what was that? I said, God damn it! Are you talking into that little ass again, dude? Your words are all muffled. Can you speak up? I said we have a... Louder. 
I said we. Louder, man. It doesn't. Sound doesn't travel travel through foam well. I said we are a really fucking big problem over here. I'm on my way. Oh my god, stop powering up already. L listen to her, Jake. Listen, continue powering up for as long as you like. You're doing wonderfully, growl. See, the art here is so good. I like this art. And all the, the him powering up shit, that's great. You call that powering up? Wait, why is everyone saying Bob? Bob's your uncle! Sorry, I missed that one. You call that powering up? Hey, I asked you a question, Gramps. You call that powering up? Jumping Jehoshaphat! <coughs> No one wasn't very good. I'll show you the true meaning of powering up. Frankly, your hope field is ridiculous, and is nothing on the unlimited fury of the green sun. Yeah, that one's pretty weak. A three or four is fine. Three is good. Would you ever play a visual novel dating sim called Cryptid Crush? Oh, 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 shit. What? Oh, well, you got the Mothman. You got... What all you got here? Some kind of demon. Jersey Devil. Sure. Uh... It certainly looks like something. Looks like a vampire. And then... Kangaroo of some sort. Well, that just seems like... Chat material. Wait a minute. Why did I swap Durst with my planet? What was I even thinking? Um, yeah, my dude. What the fuck were you thinking? That was a dumb plan. Suck it to me! No. Impossible! How can the power of hope be so... Shiver me timbers! Powerful! No, how could this be happening to me? Don't you realize who you're dealing with? I'm Grimbark Jade, damn it. Win. I'm the most powerful doggy girl. One. Who has ever existed? Four. In the history of paradox space. The Gipper. Skipping across lava. Shit. She's dead. She's... Oh, those are her ears. They look like devil horns. Jake, do you even realize what you've done to our, our biological daughter? You're out of control. Come to your senses in this instant. I know you have a great deal of fondness for a human family member, even though you have been corrupted by an evil computer. Oh, right, they do fuck. What the fuck? Quite clearly says KO'd. Yeah, killed off. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Killed off dead. That's what the D in KO'd stands for. Chat got the first part of it. Ectobiology, remember? I don't remember anything. This is a bit. Yeah. People die. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little unsettling when I say something extremely stupid. And chat goes, oh, he's kidding. Jake, do you even realize what you've done to our biological daughter? You're out of control. Come to your senses this instant. I know you have a great deal of fondness for your human family member, even though you have been corrupted by an evil computer. As such, it sincerely pains me to have to do this, but the moment she wakes up, she'll uh, become possessed again. And then where would we be? Wait, do what? Again, I'm very, very sorry. It must be done. Oh, okay. You're just going to... Tip. Wait. 
Oh. Is it are feet gonna do the thing like in um Wizard of Oz? Dead. Wizard of Oz Yeah! Wizard of Oz! I got it! What this is what the ref ref fronts. Lucky break. All right, Mayor. I've got to go now. I'm not sure why, but I've got a really bad feeling about this. I mean, I don't really scare you or come off as too dramatic or anything, but if I uh, never see you again, I just wanted you to know. It's been real, man. You're always there for me. You've shared my darkest hours, my deepest secrets. I'll never fucking forget it. Goodbye, Mayor. Smooch. I love you. Everyone loves the Mayor. There's a three bro hella Jeff reference or link. Twirly Brown. This is what the ref France. Okay. There we go. Now he didn't miss home or we didn't miss switch bro. Have a Jeff just yeeted up into the. Like, listen, if there's anything that me and Dave have in common it is our respect for the fucking mayor. I typically don't have a lot of respect for, like, you know, political figures or what have you. But the mayor? The mayor fucking rocks. Rose, do you come in? Rose, do you read me? Yes. Do you want me to come get your ass into gear? Shit's going down the lo on Lolof. Could you elaborate? There's a problem. Then let's bounce. First of all, you've got some nerve. Is your art about facing mortality a lot, in some sense? Uh... It's something I think about a lot, I guess. Um, I did a video on Arcade talking about um, all the art that I did last year and what it means. Um, if you want, like, more specific of all that stuff. Um, keep in mind, this was during 2020, uh, which was not a good year for anyone. So if you want to know what was going on through my head for a majority of uh, 2020... You can go check that video out. It's a fairly recent arcade. It's like one of the first of the year, I think. So you should be able to find it. I'll return shortly to annihilate you. Stay put. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Don't watch that video unless if you're in a good place. Roxy. I know you were there. Frick. Mumble, mumble, hag, mumble, suck it. Mumble, mumble, my egregious patootie. Gamzy. Might as well come out of hiding so I can see you. Ah, yes, there you go. Don't you look nice? I say that about the rogue outfit. Needless to say, I'm quite partial to the void color scheme. I'm so fucking flattered. Who are you? I beg your pardon? You heard me, bitch. Oh, who are you? Haha, -ha, yes. Who am I, you ask? That is no short story, I'm afraid. It all began on the peaceful like planet called Before Us. Unlike the alternative trolls, whom are no doubt more familiar, my people were- Wow, wait, shut your dumb blue mouth. I've been spying on you. I've been eavesdropping on all your smug trash. I couldn't help but notice that ring you're wearing. Yes? 
What about it? That's John ring. John's ring, ain't it? John's ring? But John never ri rightfully owned it. And in fact, it was originally gifted as intended as a gift to my young descendant. It's only fitting that I wear it and bring additional glory to the secret name. Yo. That's an, another insane and smug thing you just said there. Do you even listen to yourself? For real. We were going to give you, you that ring. Uh, I thought we were going to give that ring to Callie. Hmm? Callie, my goddamn BFF sees in, from space. She's a ghost and I want to save her from her bro. Ah, yes. It's the female cherub. I'm perfectly familiar with her plight, as well as the relevance she purportedly has with respect for her brother's downfall. In fact, I was the one who first ever theorized about that. Smug! But the situation has changed. That's all ancient, ancient history now. I'm sorry, Roxy, but I have no use for your chair friend in my plans. She will not be playing the role of any significance. Oh, man. Oh, man. I way hate you. Come now. Don't say things you can't take back. I'm actually very nice. We're getting off on the wrong foot here. No, 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 no. I, man, I really hate you. I can't even explain it. I never hated somebody so much by a few smarmy words out of the grody chew hole. Itch. Ugh, itch, ick, blarf. Yeah, um, so now that I buttered you up and you give me that ring. No. That's quite a black solicitation, though. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to reciprocate your feelings of hostility. I'll find... I find you to be too charming. Still, you do have a way with words. If we were compatible in that quadrant, you might have swept me off my feet. Blah? Okay. I'm a very nice person. So, you have a way with words. We're compatible in that quadrant. Okay. Uh, besides, I don't know if I have... I don't have time for new relationships right now. Too many irons in the fire, as you can see. I does get a little bothersome having to... I have people fling themselves at you all the time. Always been my curse. Did you know that earlier your friend Jake could barely keep his hands off me? What? No way. You're a filthy liar. I've been known to embellish now and then. Yeah, that was kind of exactly the opposite of what happened. Relax. I'm just having some fun with you. We. But now the fun times are over. I can't have an invisible, tangible troublemaker tiptoeing around trying to sneak this ring off my finger. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to put you down. Yeah, right. I'm going to let you put me down over my dead body. Don't be so dramatic. Your body will only be napping. Pleasant dreams. So just like psychic power, boom, you're asleep. Because she can do that. Huff. This is it, isn't it? This is it then, isn't it? Am I to spend the rest of my uh, eternity hiding inside this vortex? How can I go in search of myself if I am blown to smithereens the moment I step foot outside? But maybe the truth is, such a fate would be preferable to this. It's so dreadfully lonely. That sounds really fucking boring. She has no eyes now? I guess she's a ghost. That makes sense. Have they all forgotten about me? I guess I couldn't blame them for getting on with their lives. After all, what use am I? I'm a... Only remotely important to the thing there is for me to do is look m for a more important version of myself. And I can't even bloody well do that much. I was a fool to expect anything more of my life. I, my kind was never meant to have friends. Still, I wish I had not been so hasty in tossing Roxy into her, uh, and her sunny mom from my hideout. Even if that would have attracted attention. So what? Just a little longer. Just a little longer would have been nice. It's sad. What's this now? It doesn't look like one of my memories. Is someone here? Yeah, it's bad news. Hello? Who's there? What's happening? Oh dear. Oh dear, this can't be good. I better hide. Where? Can you even hide? Shoot. Are those footsteps? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I gotta hide. I gotta hide. Whoever's there, don't come closer. Please don't, please don't. I'm scared, so miserable, and so lonely. I said, don't come any closer. I'm a powerful magician, I swear. A magician who wants you to leave her alone. Pay no attention to the girl behind the curtain. That's another Wizard of Oz reference. Oh, 
Oh. Hi. Oh, right, she died. Sorry, just kind of forgot. There was a lot going on. Um, she literally just died. Wizard of Oz, Yellow Brick Road, yada yada. It's okay, I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. You can come out now. You're safe, I promise. Jade? Get your paws off me, you shit fucking shit fucker. Ah, oh, shit, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck, honk. Scurrilous fuck chicken cad. Unhand me so I can resurrect my accomplice at once, honk, honk. What do you want from me this time, you decessible poo rogering charlatan? Charlatan? Pronounce that real weird. Fuck this panel in particular times a thousand. Is this like, um, why? Poo rogering charlatan. I see. I do not want to buy any more of your potions. I already bought all the useless slap I could ever want from you and it made a killing in rich redistribution. Future thing? Okay, fair enough. Honk, your entrepreneurial tactics leave much to be desired. You're a deplorable businessman and an even shittier clown. Get off me. Did you just touch my boob? Don't touch my boob, you fuckface, dung, huffing, toilet, guzzling, idiot, quipster, shit pucker, dick, dick lark? I see. Um, don't. Why is it like that? Why are parts of home stuck like that? Uh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit! Shit, 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 shit. Gamzee, what's happening here? Did you see what was happening? I'm not gonna... You're not gonna answer me, huh? You're just gonna keep handling John's evil mom, and you're not gonna tell me... Jade... Tell me what Jade's doing under her house. Sweet Jesus, you're an awful dude. Where did you come from? How did I not sense your approach? You can't sense what ain't real. Ain't real? You seem real to me. You seem quite real to me, Dirk. That's because my buddy Jake just helped me become a whole lot of hell real and a whole lot less fake. You see, he believes in me. What? Unfortunately, that panel is very... Oh, yeah. A panel that I fucking hate that's gross and disgusting and I have to pay attention to it? Yeah. That's because of my buddy Jake just helped me become a whole... Okay. Honestly, Dirk, this conversation we are having right now bears a striking resemblance to absolute nonsense. I recall once your dream self appearing out of thin air, just as you've done now. And you, I did do the favor of helping you on your way. Don't you remember? There's no need to thank me. I'm quite benevolent by nature. I prefer to do the right thing in every situation, even when I'm not likely to receive credit for doing good deeds. Holy shit, can you stop saying stuff? Honestly, yes. No need to be so rude. I'm just curious. As an ancient and learned scholar, I'm versed in a wide range of unusual phenomenon. However, I must say that I'm flummoxed by your nature of being. What are you exactly? Brain Ghost Dirk. You kissed my boyfriend. Prepare to die. Shucky darn. Not helping, dude. So. Right, because he was having fantasies about having Dirk to talk to. But that's not the real Dirk. That's fake Dirk who's become real because he believes in him. Is that right? Ah, I see. Okay, so follow-up question. The thing in chat once you once you hear this. Okay, okay. Um that's fucking stupid, right? That's really fucking stupid. Honk. Whoa, yeah. Trizzy with the dropkick ambush from fucking Sky. Go, Trizzy. Kick his ass. 
I still don't have the slightest clue what's going on here, but I fully endorse this turn of events. Hope powers do that. That's a great missing link. Yeah, hope powers do that was what you were going for. But I think that hope powers is actually correct too. So there you go. You didn't screw up. Trizzy, do you have... Do you know what's going on here? Do you know what's happened to Jade? Do you know why the hell Carcat is... Where the hell is Carcat? Is he okay? Trezzy? Trezzy. She looks pretty serious about stabbing that clown. I respect that. What about you? Hey. Hey, John's hot mom. Did you see what happened? I mean, shit. I mean, John's evil mom. Did you happen to... Damn, that was really embarrassing, inappropriate Freudian slip. I don't think I can rebound from that one. I, uh, I'm gonna stop talking now. Did you really believe you could run from me, mother... F or... M Mark? Mac... Macriar? I thought it said motherfucker for a second. I was like, alright. What made you think you could commit these crimes? That you could deceive me? Debase me? Make me feel like a rancid circus trash? Only to slink away in free filthy cheese critter without even having to pay for the piper? Pay the piper? Do you honestly think you could never face justice? What do you have to say for yourself? Answer me! Honk. Just as I thought. Is that the response for religious zealots sworn to misguided vow of silence? Or is that the response of a coward? Honk. <coughs> Weak. Uh, how do I detest your horrid faith? I loathe the sodium. This is a weird breakup happening. Yeah, that's like a one or a two. Honestly, it was like a baby burp. How I detest your horrid faith. How I loathe your soda sticky ground you kneel upon while you belch your vulgar hymns of mirth. How I revile your weight. Her. It's her. She's here. What is she doing here? It was she who manipulated me into restoring my eyesight. Just as you were the one who instigated my spiral of self-loathing to begin with. I never would have considered her silver-tongued offer in a million sleeps, sweeps had you not poisoned me so. Oh yes, it is all too clear to me. You and she are in cahoots, aren't you? Aren't you? Honk. Admit it. You've become just another lowly nibbling vermin scurrying after her s seductive tune of her flute. You are both the worst kinds of scum to me. Opposite yet equivalent. It is like the legislators less les handbook says. Those who are cut from the same cloth are fit to swing from the same rope. That's a fucking rad line, honestly. Justice kick. Oh, is that wait, oh she's immortal, right? It's like, that's great. I do enjoy her having violence happen to her, but unfortunately it doesn't mean anything. Those are some nice moods. Moves. I particularly enjoyed how you, you took a casual swing at my arm in the middle of that combination. As if I'm not perfectly aware that you understand the significance of this ring. You must have already heard my conversation with Roxy. Really, it is one of the great advantages of having a reputation for offering detailed explanations. When you inevitably start going in on length about your weaknesses, there are sure to be some eavesdroppers taking notes. But I don't really mind that you know my secret. You know what kind of sport would I be if I didn't give you a fair shot at defeating me? And in fact, to show you what a generous, honorable opponent I am, I will give you a free chance at disarming me. I won't move an inch, I promise. Surely your speed and swordsmanship will be enough, or will be a piece of cake. Well, go on, Dirk, have at it. Fight me, you gutless poltron! Close that window, by the way. I said fight back! Now of all times, why can't you bring yourself to raise a hand to me? All you can do is grin like an imbecile. Stop smiling! Said, wipe that grin off your face or I'll peel it from your skull. Take that and that and that and that. And, oh, yes, clown. Your reckoning is at hand. 
What do you think you're looking at? Dream on, Miracle Boy. Chief Deputy Peril Sprite can do nothing for you now. No one can save you from your judgment. What is this referencing? This is referencing another page earlier, but I don't remember what that's referencing. Gamzee don't give a shit. Observing this Tom Flurry for several minutes. The shitty porn? What? It's referencing post exploding laptop or whatever. I wish you would stop. Exp uh, I wish things would stop exploding. Yes. I remembered that face. Relevant information? Not something I remember. Gamzee's being mind controlled at the moment, so it really doesn't matter if he's being stabbed, right? Who isn't being mind controlled right now? <laughs> Like, I feel like everyone is either an approximation of someone's belief of someone being mind-controlled or dead. Or mind-controlling someone. Dave? No, Dave is an approximation of someone. That's sort of like being mind-controlled, because he's not a real person. And John is being mind-controlled. But John made Dave exist because of that. Observing this time foolery for several minutes has been time well spent. I have no regrets whatsoever. Someone said that that was a good... Thank you. I have no regrets whatsoever. On an authentic note, I shall resume my effort to resurrect my omnipotent daughter and regain a tactical advantage. As being a uh, being of cold, cold flawless re reason and logic, I have no cause to anticipate further impediments to my simple objective. Son of a dick. I said put her down. Bad anthropomorphic dogs. You're so bad. Oh my god. You're literally the worst pair of anthro dogs I've ever seen. Drop the that goddamn dir girl. I mean it. Don't you wolf at me. Bad. Bad. Don't you think I'm serious? I'm serious as you drive to the vet. I'm not joking, you dumb mutts. I mean business here. I've got a sword too. It's sharp and awesome and fucking Welsh. Okay, listen, Jack and Taller White Jack, clearly you are very loyal to Jade's corpse or whatever, but I'm, you aren't going to help her by swiping the torso and growling at me like a pair of mangy assholes. Please put her down. Look, I got treats. I got sausages. Okay, I don't have sausages, but I could get sausages. Do you remember anything yet? Not really. It's a pity. I was hoping you might be able to tell me what my friends are up to. I wish I was able to tell you, but I keep drawing a blank on everything. I don't even remember what I was doing when I fell asleep. Or even if I'm sleeping. How are you supposed to tell if you're a ghost or not? Ghosts have spooky blank eyes like me. But only after they remember they died. So until you recall what happened, I'm afraid neither of us will know. Darn. There's one way to be sure, I suppose. One. I could use some of my potent anti-sleeping magics on you and see if you wake up. Anti-sleeping magic? You mean magics? Yes. But I must admit, I am reluctant to do so for selfish reasons. What reasons? If you wake up, you will disappear, and I will be alone again. Aw. That's okay, I'm in no hurry yet to go yet. Or for that member, remember why I'm here. No? I can't put my finger on it, but I have this feeling that, uh, awful feeling that something bad has happened. Specifically something that happened because of me. Really? Yeah. I'm worried that I might have done something that I wasn't proud of. That I might have even hurt people. That's hard to believe. I hope it's just my imagination. In any case, I feel like I could use some rest. You seem really relaxed, so I'd rather relax here with you for a while and jump right back into it. Whatever craziness is waiting for me out there. By the way, I didn't catch your name. I didn't say it. You think my full name could bring us a unwanted attention. Instead, you could you refer to me as my troll sona? Yes. Tr your troll sona? Yes, it's Callie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Callie. But what's a troll sona? It's a profile of a fictional troll which I enjoy pretending to be. See? Do you like her? Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it. So you're not really a troll? Nope. Um, gee, she's so, she's so cute. Or I should say, you are cute. <gasps> what a good idea. Do you think I could make a troll sona too? Oh yes, that would be lovely. Can I help? Sure. What blood color would you be? The best color, blood color, obviously, which is green. That's the color of my blood too. Wow, really? That's perfect. Our troll sonas are like blood sisters or something. I don't really know much about troll culture to use proper terminology. I'm cute. 
But let's just say that we are. Agreed. Bloodcesters it is. What should my horns, horns look like? Oh, and for that matter, should I have horns instead of dog ears or in addition to them? Definitely in addition. Your pointy ears are splendid. Okay. Hmm. Where should they go? Jeez. I think we might need to do some drawings to make her look right. Oh, yes. Let's... Callie? There's something very familiar about you. I'm sure you've never met before. I'm quite sure. I certainly would have remembered meeting you. But you did know my name. Well, yes, I knew of you. Can't treat the feeling that we've spoken before. Maybe in a dream, I can't remember. I'm not sure if the sound of your voice or what. I don't recognize faces, but that's not really what you look like, is it? No. Before you ask, my actual appearance is much less appealing, at least in my own view. I would rather you didn't see it, if that's alright. That's fine. It's not a big deal. It's true that we've met if it's true that we met before i'm sure i'll remember in due time let's not worry about it for now okay by the way what's with the stage is it one from your memories no i thought it was from your memory i don't think so it'd be some sort of it would be seem to be some sort of imagery figment that turned into a real object i wonder why it looks like a drawing shrug hey why don't you come up here and help me get these curtains open since it's the only thing we've got in this boring vortex. We might as well have a little fun. Nothing bad could happen here. The voices start giving out on me. So I think at the two hour mark, I'll probably stop. But it's good so far. We're making progress. So many pages. No, you idiot. Oh, you idiots. You stupid, stupid dogs. I'm trying to revive her. Purgus. Fine. If that's how you're going to be. You leave me with no alternative. Mousy. Wait. Hold up. Cat. Oh. No, come back. You were supposed to drop her first. My cal calculation said you were supposed to drop her first. Hey, John's hot mom. Did you just say you can revive Jade? Yes. That's all I need to know. Wait here and do whatever you do. J don't die, okay? Hot mom. Dave, what are you doing? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's get mad at the chart. Not that. Um. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Give me your lips. Ed Gein moment. It's fine. They're cartoon lips. It's not fucked up. Can I? Wait. You know you can't compete with your drinker fastness. My what? God damn it. We're missing everything. How much bullshit were, is it that we're pretty much the only... How much bullshit is it that we're pretty much the only two assholes left who can't fly? It really is bullshit. Dave, what the fuck? Can't talk, chasing dogs. Dirk, how long did you want to stand off or stand off to last? Don't get me wrong, I'm flattered you seem to be enjoying my company so much, but you seem to be missing a golden opportunity to sever my arm while preoccupied with overconfident bladder. Really, would you really you would be doing me a favor by taking my arm? It would bring me closer to the following in the footsteps of my true self. She was quite a successful pirate, you know. She lost her arms in, or she lost her arm in uh, battle to a cunning adversary. She underestimated, much like yourself. Won't you help me become who I was always meant to be? Oh, shut up! Drop clank. I'm not gonna cut off your arm. It's such an obvious trap. 
You put me to sleep or something with a psychic powers or maybe a long story. I have a better idea. Oh? If I can get the ring off your finger, it'll rip the soul out of your body. Rad idea, fake Dirk. Screaming. I like this part too. To be honest, I don't want to hear any of... Uh, I don't want to hear any more. Next time you have an update on what my ancestor has been up to, just please keep it to yourself. You sure? It's embarrassing. I cringe every time I think about her self-indulgent -ex exploits. Uh-huh. Doesn't she realize that this sort of thing never works? You don't go and insert yourself in the way of middle of all the actions in the most ham-fisted way possible because you can't stand for another second of someone else being out in the spotlight. Oh, hi, Limes. We're reading Homestuck. I have a month before I... I've been reading it for officially two years. Um, so... I'm trying to finish Homestuck. Um, welcome. Two years of Homestuck. <laughs> uh, I started it in, uh, 2019, uh, August 3rd, according to, uh, to, yeah. This is the conversation I was waiting for. Oh, Vriska gets dunked on? Vriska learning about character development? It always goes horribly for everyone. Even worse, it makes you end up looking like an idiot. And even more worse, it's making me look like an idiot by association. Why couldn't she just thought this through a little more? How was your stream, Limes, by the way? Thank you for, for the raid. Charity incentive. Ch Rev rereads Homestuck for charity. No. No. Yeah, you can actually finish this comic in a reasonable amount of time, but if you're talking about, like, Tanks or, like, Billy Hatcher, I had to play it for incentive. It's very stressful. I've heard it's good. I need to pick your brain about doing one of those. That sounds like a rad idea, Limes. I can't unread Homestuck, unfortunately. I've tried. It's not possible. Rev listens to uh, Sea Shanty 2 as an incentive. Listen, you. I have a, a thing with... Oh, okay. I have a thing with uh, Billy Hatcher. Okay, fair enough. camera is like not plugged in but I was doing a little dance because you can't dance to this toe tapper just dance harder if you see spoilers anyway um What's make what's even worse is he's making me look like or it's making me look like an idiot by association. Why couldn't she have thought this through a little bit more? Why couldn't she have told us first? Shrugging my shoulders, yo. How is it that I underestimate this and she doesn't? How much older than me? Like a bajillion dream bubble sweeps or something. All the experience and wisdom and she's still out floundering like a fucking noob. Floundering. So disheartening. She just wants to be a marquee so much. Just like I used to, but she's nothing like her. You need a fuck ton of experience doing, you know, a lot of ruthless piratey shit where you can pull, out, pull that off. You can't just be some bookish dweeb all your life and then suddenly decide to flip the badass switch and expect all the people to take you seriously. 
Also, to truly pull that off, it might actually help to be a goddamn adult. You know, actually be able to sway chair off my sway chair for suggesting it, but maybe, maybe, just maybe, there are certain roles and behaviors that are best left for developed grown-ass people. Not to sound like a wet blanket, but my ancestor's journal contains some extremely mature content. So we're not gonna ha let another stupid kid trying to fill my boots of a legendary pirate queen. Oh, yeah, wait, well, I'm just having issues with this. Why is every eight a B? No, not every eight is a B. Every, every eight is a B, but also sometimes things that could be read as eight. Like pirate. Pirate. See, right here, pirate? That reads pirate. This is typing quirks. This is, this is what Homestuck is. I've been having to read this fucking whatever this shit is. There is one that is lead speak. Fuck no, it's Beyblade is 888L8. Oh god. That's awful. Don't worry, Limes, it gets worse. I've been reading. This is page 6748 for anyone who's catching this the first time. Beyblade. Now we have yet another stupid kid trying to fill the boots of a legendary pirate queen. She's amateur all over, hour all over again. I can see her. All I can see in her is me when I used to. Oh God, it makes me want. Ugh! Stop moving around. It's all angry. You're making. You're fucking me up here. Sorry. I'm dismayed by the implications of her actions. Is this really how I came off when I used to pull this kind of, sort of shit? I don't know. Wasn't there. I have a sickening feeling that it was just like this. No wonder nobody could stand me. And here I am, bitching about my ancestor like I know better, like I'm evolved beyond that, but have I really? Do I really go around thinking that I'm smarter than I used to be, but I end up repeating the same old patterns without realizing it? Was the plan to find the treasure and build the army uh, just a restatement of my immature, egomaniacal bullshit disguised as a more strategically sensible plan? If I can apparently keep kidding myself about this crap forever, then how would I ever know the difference? I guess the thing I hate most about her stunt is, isn't that the dumb plan, or that we weren't included, is that it's making me wonder if I can trust any of my own judgments, even after all this time. I have some baller, baller inward reflection, sir. Could you turn down the music a bit? How long is this song? I have it on endless repeat. So, uh, forever. This is the part where I'm supposed to forgive Vriska? I don't know about that. If it's so baller, why is it making me feel like shit? That's what it's supposed to do, I think. But like, temporarily? I guess? But what about you? Does any of this... Uh, is it... Does any of this resonate at all? I know that you used to stir ship, w shit up with your friends. You must have done some outrageous things which weren't you thought were necessary for the good of the team, but when you look back, you ever wonder what you were thinking? Or if you were really ever truly evolved? Nah. Oh, come on. Don't leave me hanging in self-doubt limbo here. Give me something, Pexies. I don't know, maybe? See, my thing is... Her, her thing, by the way, who's just anyone who's just catching it, is she makes uh, sea-related puns with her words. That's her typing quirk. So. See, my thing is, uh, I don't verbally torture my cray schemes like all sacred girls. And that works out for me, okay? That works okay for me. I guess I made mistakes, but who really gives a flip? You don't care if you make mistakes? Not like you do, or she does. Our D our Arania's deal is... What she's doing right now isn't much different than the way she always did stuff. She, the stuff that she did never, uh, is never about what she's, the things she's actually doing. She also has the pitchfork thing, because she's a trident thing. What's March of the Mice? That's, uh, my chat plays D&D &D style thing. 
um, at the last Thursday of every month, uh, I uh, add another chapter into a, a story that I'm creating, draw all the art for it, and um, please turn that shit off. Okay, fine. Um, and uh, it's about a post-human world where humans have basically gone to the brink of extinction and now it's just uh, mice and rats and stuff like that um, as the, the prominent species on Earth. That's what March of the Mice is. Um, I need to have like an easy, rec like a button that explains it. But, uh, yeah, you just get chat points. It allows you to put options into the, uh, the thing. And then, uh, you can add, you can, you know, yeah, basically like a March of the Mice thing. You can add basically options for things that the main character does, and then everyone votes on those options, and then whatever wins the vote ends up what the character does. Um... You can check the, uh, does anyone have a link to the, uh, highlight play stick playlist that I made or that, um, orthogonal casters editing? Listen, let's not talk about how I spent a month working on a mystery episode and you guys solved it in under five minutes. You're like, is it this? And I'm like, no. And then you guys were like, oh, so it's this. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that hurt. <laughs> Especially with the technical errors. And a whole night of technical difficulties too. It's uh it's homestuck adjacent. Um, I guess. Thank you, Luigi guy. I need to just save that. Um Thank y'all. Paste. Yeah. Uh watch that. It's uh it's shorter than watching it all the way through, like the actual VODs. Uh, looks like they're about like half an hour long each. You don't have to watch them intentionally so to be able to know what to do in the next episode. It just helps with backstory. Like you know who some of the characters are and stuff like that. Um, and why you're where you are. But it's sort of like Pokemon where like if you don't catch Pokemon from the beginning, it's fine. Yeah, incredible mess ups to uh, uh, Orthogonal Caster for doing that edit. It makes it so... Especially with that last episode. That last episode was fucked. Um, so it's much, much better. I'm going to finish this page now. Sorry for the, the ramble. I need to talk about the March of the Mice whenever it comes up in chat. Because it's, it's my baby. It's my, my, my thing that I work real hard on. And like I said, uh, prints of it will be available eventually once Redbubble gets its shit together. The last episode didn't create any extra work, just so you know. That's good. Uh, stopped at The Stuff. She always did stuff. The stuff she does never really uh, is about the things she's actually doing. It's about the things that she means to be uh, things mean and make sure that everyone knows what they mean and above the ball making sure everyone understands how important she is because she's obviously the source of all that critical meaning without all action would be pointless right but that's just how I rolled I just did shit and the shit I did meant only the things I sh the shit accomplished and if the shit I accomplished is a dumb thing that sucked well, I guess you could call that a mistake oh fucking well the stakes ain't make me feel too bad since I don't really connect results with my self-worth. You feel me? Um, God, I wish that were me. Um, yes, that's so right on. If you asked me a long time ago, I'm sure I would have insisted about that's exactly how I felt about everything I did too. But I don't know if that's true anymore. And in fact, I'm sure it wasn't true. I invested the hell into the consequences of everything I did and look how it made me look. And how it made me look. And how it made me feel about my self, especially. Okay, I'll admit it. I always felt hella bad about decisions leaving me with less gold. Glove damn. Feel like a tide 
a shame wash over me just thinking about going broke. Well, of course, who the fuck wants to be poor? That's for wor losers. Word. <sighs> All right. I think we're going to have to pick this conversation up next time, but uh, check out check out the March of the Mice if you haven't already. We read, holy shit, look at all that. So the last, we started the stream at page 6,463, and we finished on page 6,749. We read 286 pages today. Poggers. Hardcore poggers. Like almost 300 pages. That's great, man. It was fucking great. Oh shit, there's an art here. Who did <laughs> NLRK gives us uh some art of my Homestuck troll OC. Cause if you're a uh Homestuck, you have to have troll OCs. In fact, they even talked about it in the uh in the thing. And so we've got this art from uh NLRK. Let's open this image in a new tab and then like re Sorry. There we go. Fixed it. Um, very good. Karl Marx. It's great. Thank you for the uh, 110 gay bits there. Uh, life's never humdrum. It's great. <laughs> Anna, you did great work. Thank you so much. Karel Marx with the X's because he's erotic. Um, thank you, Anna, for making my my troll OC come to life. Um, if you guys are interested, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Usually starting about five. Last couple of days, I've been uh, waking up, streaming a little bit earlier. Nice. Next stream, we'll have a big S to look forward to. That's awesome. Um... But tomorrow we're going to do either uh, Isaac or Dawn of War or Will You Press the Button or Friday Night Funkin' or um, RimWorld we did yesterday. So I should probably wait on that one. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? We'll figure it out when we get there. How's that sound? Um, but I'm going to go and bounce for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.